Task-driven priorities allow for you to have associated tasks determine the progress of your priority. For example, if we look at this HR team 10 new hires priority, it's currently 4 of 18 complete. That's because it has 18 different tasks that are directly associated to it. If we hover over this gear icon and go to the Related Tasks button, you can see all of the different tasks that are directly associated to this priority. If we start marking a couple tasks as completed and then press OK Done, you can see that this priority is now 7 of 18 complete up from 4 because we've marked some tasks as completed. To create a task-driven priority, you'll hit the Add Priority button. You'll need to give the priority a name, assign it an owner, select whether it's an individual priority or a company priority, and then choose task driven from the list of measurement items. There is also going to be a description of what exactly a task driven priority is. From here, you can add a task using the task editor You'll give the task a name, a due date, pick who the owner of the task is, and then it will just automatically know that this particular task is going to be attached to the priority that you're creating. Once your task has been completed, you'll press save and it will then add to your task list. Again, in order to update task-driven priorities, you'll just need to mark associated tasks as completed. You can do that from what, right within this screen here or from your task sheet by marking tasks as complete.